Hey everyone, Dr. Vince here uh, with another episode of Dr. Vince Presents. This is number 14, something like that. Google versus Facebook. Who to choose, who's gonna win? And so, let me ask you a question. Uh, have you ever struggled with marketing online? Have you ever uh, been frustrated with your return on investment um, or just not sure which one to use? We're gonna dive into all of that stuff today. Um, uh, when I, you know, first started uh, doing, you know, Google and Facebook ads, you know, I struggled. Um, and before that, uh, I struggled finding someone that could do it properly. You know, that wasn't going to give me the runaround uh, and wasn't some, you know, kid in, in, you know, his mom's basement, that type of thing. Um, but uh, I got to a point where I didn't want to rely on anybody else anymore. And so I just said, forget it. I'm just going to uh, learn it. And it's not that tough. You know, what I would recommend is if you are, um, uh, for me, the threshold is about 30,000 per month in gross revenue. Uh, if you're below that, I would say, look, just go ahead and learn it. If you're above that, uh, if you're like 40, 50, 60, um, it may make more sense for you to outsource, right? Because uh, you can uh, leverage your time better and it's going to uh, just give you time to focus on other things. And then it's just a matter of finding a really good um, person to do it. But um, if you do want to do it yourself, um, literally, I mean, just go to Google and say, how do I create Facebook ads? Um, or, uh, you know, another source is Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y.com. It's an online learning platform. Uh, courses are like 10 or 15 bucks. They're always on sale. And, uh, you know, you just sign up for a course and three, four hours, you just burn through it, the videos. And then it's just testing and tweaking and rinse and repeat, right? So, um, you know, in terms of should you hire uh, or should you outsource uh, or do it yourself, that's my kind of thought in terms of the threshold. Um, if you're going to pay someone um, in terms of the cost, you're probably looking at around at the bare minimum 500 bucks a month, um, typically around, you know, 700, 1,000, 1,500, maybe even 2,000 if they're super, super good. Um, and, and then your ad budget on top of that, right? So that's their time to build the ads, um, optimize the campaign, maintain the campaign. There's not a ton of maintenance, uh, but uh, the key is, is really testing and tweaking until you get an ad that's working and you have a low cost per click and it's generating new patients, of course. So um, so that's kind of a, a quick overview. Let's talk, uh, dig into a little more of Google versus Facebook. Boom. So push versus pull is how I look at it, right? So with uh, Facebook, people aren't searching for, uh, you know, natural headache treatments or car accidents or anything like that. They're not searching for anything. They're actually, you know, maybe they're searching for their old girlfriends or they're on, um, you know, they're just on their feed. They're looking at stuff, they're posting in groups, whatever. They're, um, they're not looking for us, right? And so um, say I'm looking for dentists, like I wanna advertise to dentists. Well, I can, I can put my ad in front of dentists very easily. So uh, Joe Dentist is dinking around on Facebook and boom, my ad pops up. Now, whether he decides to move forward or not is, uh, you know, it comes down to the ad, the copy, and whether he has any interest in whatsoever in terms of my service, right? Um, versus poll, right? So that's push. We're pushing our ad on people that are just on the world's largest social network. Um, Google, on the other hand, people are actively searching, right? It is a search engine. Man, I'm smart today. So people are searching for headache treatment or knee pain, natural treatment for knee pain, uh, whatever it may be. They're searching for us. And then if that matches with our um, keywords that we put into our campaign, and if our bid is high enough, we will show up somewhere on the right side, or if we're doing really well at the top, um, and they will then click on our ad and then they, boom, they go to our, the second step. Uh, and we're gonna get into where they go in just a second. Um, so pros and cons, uh, Facebook, um, it, pros, uh, super platform, or, super, well, it's a super platform, Dr. Vince. No, super easy to learn, right? Uh, and then it's just a matter of testing um, and it's low cost. You can test like, 
I don't know, seven bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, until you get you know, a low cost per click and a good conversion, patients are showing up and all that type of stuff. Um, the cons on Facebook is I just haven't seen the quality be super great. Um, it's not terrible, you know, it still works, and I think the money or the return is there. But um, uh, the quality seems to be a little iffy because again, they're not looking for us. So we just kind of popped into their, their little world, right? It's like someone just knocking on your front door. Hello, um, I got an offer for you. Uh, you may or may not be interested. You may even be uh, annoyed, which a lot of people get annoyed at all these uh, ads on Facebook. Um, but that is the reality uh, that drives their business and that's fine with me because it works for all of us. Now, let's go to Google. Google, Google's gonna be more expensive. Uh, it's a little more complicated in terms of um, creating the ad and the, uh, the bidding and all that type of stuff. Um, uh, but you also are only, like with Facebook, um, you know, you can use ad, you can have, you know, uh, you can use ad, good Lord. You can use video, video works very well on ads. You can use great pictures and they have a nice stock image selection. Um, for uh, Google, you're, you're, it's all text-based for the most part. And so uh, you have to be really good at copy, right? So that you can grab their attention with just a, a short, and very short sentence. Um, and then, you know, you have a little bit, I think it's three sentences total. Um, and so uh, you don't have as much real estate as you do with uh, Facebook. So, um, so it's trickier and, it's, and I think there's, there's more skill involved using Google AdWords. So, um, but the quality is better because again, they're searching for us. Um, now, uh, it's gonna be a little more expensive. So, um, I, but I prefer Google. I, I think that, you know, I'd rather pay more, a little more money per lead, have a better quality patient um, so that we utilize our time better. So, um, that's kind of pros and cons. I, I, I just recommend, hey, look, test each. You know, whether you're doing it yourself, you're hiring someone, test each, you know, spend 500 or 1,000 per month or over a couple months, see what type of return on your investment. Just track everything. So let's go over some tips and tricks. We talked about Facebook. I do recommend using video for that. And um, you can do something like this. You can, uh, where it's, you know, uh, person to camera um, or direct to camera. You can have screen flow where you're, you know, you're showing your, your, um, your computer screen and maybe you're going through a PowerPoint. You can do stock images that are to, vi uh, to music and you just cycle through images or you can outsource it. Um, great uh, website called Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and there's several of these types of sites, but you can outsource a video and say, well, I want it to say this, and I want the image to say this, and they'll put it together with some music, and um, I think video ads are somewhere, they typically recommend around 15 seconds. So they, they catch the eye, and they have music and all that stuff, so it's good. So I'd recommend that if you're using Facebook, I'd recommend you do that. Um, on, uh, on Facebook also, I wouldn't recommend using their lead gen ad uh, because it's, it, the, the threshold for someone to sign up is too easy, right? So it pops up right within their feed. All they do is put their name, email, um, and phone number, and then you know, it closes out, boom, you get the lead, and they're off. And, and a lot, sometimes they even forget they even submitted the damn thing. So uh, <laughs> it's just crazy. People are like, you know, ADD. Uh, I, I literally just read this stat. Um, Goldfish has, they have a, a attention span of nine seconds. We are currently at eight seconds. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. So um, moving on, I would recommend, whether using Facebook or Google, drive them to a landing page, okay? And um, I wouldn't recommend doing like, uh, you know, just a very generic back and neck pain chiropractic special, right? $29 for exam and consultation, whatever it is. Um, again, very non-specific. You're just kind of, you're kind of a generalist, right? Generalists don't get paid as much as specialists. So I would do condition-specific ads, whether it's Facebook or Google, condition-specific ads and condition-specific landing pages, right? So let's use knee pain as an example. Um, on the ad, you could say, do you have knee pain? Would you like to avoid drugs and surgery? Check out our revolutionary approach. On the landing page, they click there, they go, they go to your landing page, and you can use like click funnels or lead pages. I like click funnels, but there's, uh, there's several of them. Um, but the point being is, on the landing page, I would recommend first do a little video, like literally 30, 40 seconds of you just saying, 
Hey, I'm Dr. Vince. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and check out our services for knee pain. Um, we're located at blah, 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 blah. I've developed a super uh, unique and highly effective approach. It's non-invasive, FDA uh, cleared, all that good stuff. Um, so please take a minute to read below at, and it'll really go in, in depth on you know, the causes of knee pain, uh, the typical treatments, why those aren't always the greatest, and then uh, I'll go in detail what I do to treat this, uh, these knee pain conditions. And then if you're interested at that point, just put in your name, your email, and your phone number. We'll get right back to you and get that appointment scheduled. That's it, okay, that's your video. And what's nice is, and again, it has to look professional. You know, get a lavalier mic, um, put it on some sticks, which is a term for a tripod, um, so it's steady. You know, frame it up so you're use the rule of thirds. Get a couple lights so that you look good. Um, now, if all that sounds like a pain in the ass, then look, go to Mr. Google and say wedding photographer in your city. Okay, and you say, hey, I need you for two or three hours. I want to shoot some videos at my office. I'll give you two hundred bucks. What do you say? They'll be like, sold because they don't have people calling them really. And for a couple hundred bucks, they have all the equipment and they'll come out and they'll shoot it real nice. They'll mic you up and they'll sound great, look great, boom. That's probably the best situation if you're not gonna continue to make a bunch of videos. Um, but quick intro video, put your face in front of the camera so that the patients can start to develop a little bit of a relationship. You know, if you're good on camera, if you smile, if you seem like a nice guy, it's going to start breaking down those little walls and they're gonna say, okay, do I wanna to go to this doctor over here with this website that I don't know what he looks like, um, you know, very cold, whatever, um, or I can go to this doctor who seems to specialize in knee pain. He looks nice, he seems like a nice guy. Um, and, uh, and then, but they need to read that information, right? I want them to kind of work for the appointment a little bit, right? So they, I, want to, I want them to educate themselves about their condition. And then at the end, if they still feel uh, that you know, it's right for them, because maybe, maybe they're not, maybe it's not a good fit. Um, then, only then, then they put in their information. And then they're much likely, more, more likely to show up and to be a good quality patient. So condition-specific ads, condition-specific landing pages. Um, so that's it, guys. Google versus Facebook, who won? Um, I'm gonna give it to, uh, gosh, man. I mean, I use both. I think that I like, the, I know I like the quality of Google better. Um, I like the functionality of the Facebook platform. It's, it's, it's easier. You can do some, um, like I said, the, uh, the video stuff and those types of things. So uh, I think it's, it's a toss up, but it's, it just comes down to testing. You just gotta test it out and see what works for you, what works for your budget. But again, um, don't feel like you gotta hire somebody. You can do this. Uh, trust me, if some kid in, uh, in his mom's basement can do this, you can do it, doctor. Okay. I'm Dr. Vince. This was episode 14 of Dr. Vince Presents Google versus Facebook. Uh, I hope this was super valuable for you and I'll see you next week. Take care.